Okay, well this is the Skill Show uh, Experience event at Aintree and it's part of the International Festival for Business. And this is a fantastic event over two days which will uh, see about 5,000 young people come through the doors and they can have a go at a whole range of skills offered by uh, different employers and try things out. Um, my name is Tom Morris, um, I'm from United Utilities and I work in the laboratories so um, I'm a scientist in the Inorganic Chemistry Lab. Um, the United Utilities as a whole, we have um, scientific apprenticeships, we have telemetry apprenticeships, engineering, transport, customer, um, I mean so many I can't remember them all. So it's a really good scheme, you get loads of support um, and the business basically it's about recognising the potential in the people that are here today and getting them into our business into a role where they're best suited. My name's Lucas Hayhurst, I'm with Liverpool Life Sciences UTC. The school started up in Liverpool last September, designed to uh, train up potential employees for the local life sciences industries and what we're doing is demonstrating some of the work we do. We've got Simman here which is uh, the equipment used by the NHS. Merseyside Reeves has got lots of job opportunities in pharma pharmacy, pharmaceuticals, medical and health care, social care and a whole wide range of life sciences and health industries that are desperate for skilled, well-trained youngsters to work there. Job opportunities are fantastic. I, I'm very passionate about the fact that if we're creating job opportunities by attracting companies to invest in the city region, we need to make sure that our residents, our young people, have the skills to take advantage of those job opportunities. So that's what it's all about. I think we need to make sure as um, local authorities, as providers, uh, in terms of schools, colleges, etc., that, that we're informing our young people about where the opportunities are, in, particularly in terms of the growth sectors. And, and, and giving them the, the, the enthusiasm and the inspiration to say, yeah, I really, I really like doing that. It's something I might look at doing as a career. So it's just about planting the seed, really. I'm Steve Canavan. I, my business is Express Direct Training. We're all about setting up um, scissor lift, cherry picker, forklift truck licences. But we've got 30 years worth of work coming on the Liverpool docks scissor lift and cherry picker they used a lot more now in industry and in building and without the licenses without everything else you won't get the job my name is bob Comerski. i'm uh, the group hr manager abbey logistics most people consider the logistics industry just to be a driver job we also have planners we also have office staff and accounts finance uh, compliance you know, there's massive, massive, massive uh, opportunities for the young, young um, school leavers nowadays. Ne not, never one day is exactly the same. Every single day is different. You have all sorts of challenges. If you like a challenge, the logistics is definitely for you. Hi, this is the wheel off on challenge. But it is, it's a race. It's a race in each other to get the wheel off. Put it on the floor with the alloy painting up. So you don't face it up so you don't scratch it. Yeah. Well done. Oh. Okay, what about this one? I think it's fantastic because obviously it's um, it's planting the seed in these school children's mind. It's giving them opportunities to have a look at what's out there for them when they leave school. There you go. Stick it in your tray. Next one. Whip your wheel brace both sides. There you go. So for me, I think it's a great opportunity for companies as well. Um, we're all fighting for the same talent to uh, go out and. Um, Show what you know. Show these school children what they can do, and um, hopefully we'll attract some of them into the logistics sector. To get 5,000 young people from schools and colleges across, along the, across the city region is brilliant, and we hope we can do this again in future and get even more young people involved in this kind of event.